to go back to that very tweet of yours. Yes. That you said that you're not going to recognize yes. Uhuru Kenyatta as president. If you become chief justice, yes. are we, is that a recipe for chaos? Because you're putting somebody who is the head of one arm of government to work, because you rightfully said that there'll be collaboration, even yeah. though the judiciary is independent. Yes. Are we creating, are we going to create chaos? Because there's this person who has no confidence in somebody else who's the head of yeah. another arm of government. So the perception has been, how are, how are these two going to work together? Yes. Yes. Um, I, I think, um, first of all, if you look at my life history, I, I have never created chaos. Um, uh, so this would be the first time that I would create chaos if, if that was to happen. Uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I am a responsible professional. I have been uh, a distinguished academic for many years. I was a dean of a law school for seven years. Uh, I worked with very senior officials uh, in that capacity. Uh, I have complete fidelity to the law. Uh, I, I would say that, um, that uh, if you look at the story of the Constitution, uh, and you and I were there in the very early days when no one believed that we could have a new Constitution. If you look at my life story, that is my life story, fighting for those values. Uh, it does not mean, uh, Commissioner Gushu, that, uh, that um, you know, I don't dissent and that I don't express divergent views about particular issues. Uh, as I said, even in families, you know, there are often some quite serious disagreements do take place. Uh, in a democracy, this is what is expected. Um, I have said often that um, my uh, making that statement was not personal to uh, 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 Mr. Kenyatta. It was not personal. In fact, I think he's a wonderful guy. He's a very likable man, you know, very personable. Uh, it, is just, it was just about the circumstances of how um, he came to power at the time. And I, I was simply expressing myself at the time as a citizen. And I hope that uh, citizens can have the freedom to say those things, because there is nothing that is more important than the conscience of a citizen. You know, if, you know um, someone was asking me a similar question. He said, no, you, have, you write a lot of columns and you uh, express views about public figures and so on. Um, that's very important for a democracy, that I'm able to speak like that. We fought for that right to speak like that. So why should we shrink from it? You know, and the same, the same freedom that the judges now have to rule without getting a phone call is the same freedom that I think, with a conscience, I can say to myself, I can make that statement, knowing that I'll be safe because I live in a democracy. But it does not mean that I, I, I would not uh, work with the president. It does not mean that at all. Yeah, it does not mean that at all. Good to get that assurance. Yes.